we're back in the truck again, and, right on. Uh, and we're driving back to Boston. If you've watched Dan's videos lately, you know that we've uh, we've gone to Boston. We had plans to go to New York, and, and they were changed midstream while we were driving. We're still going, but um, like Dan's car, my business is making plans and changing them on the fly. So in the last video Dan made, we were buying a laser machine. And in the last 24 hours, that deal kind of started to fall apart, and then it changed and it altered to where we're now going with a smaller machine that's a little more versatile. But it does more. It, do, it does more for what we do. Um, it's gonna get it into us faster, it's gonna be less money, and it's gonna work in collaboration with our router that we already have. So we're kind of making adjustments on the fly. It's not what we planned, but in the end, we're hoping it's gonna work better. And By the way, Remember to leave a like on the video, man, because I'm wasting $600 worth of wrap just to get experience using the Vivid Wrap. And if 3M or Avery or anybody is watching this video, I don't work for Turn One Graphics. I'm just very lucky to have a friend willing to teach me. Screw you. <laughs> so I have a friend that's willing to teach me, but anyways, the laser printer that we went and looked at the other day, that's not gonna be happening. We're getting a smaller one, but it does more. He knows more about that shit, so. So so we're evolving our process on both ends as we go. And, and it's part of what Dan, Dan and I were talking about in the car the other day is, life never goes according to plan. And you have to be ready to make, make changes as you go on the fly. And if you do that, you'll end up in a better place. If you set up a plan and you stay completely rigid in it, then it might not work out the way you thought. You know, at first when I was presented the other machine, I was like, no, nope, we're already doing this one. <clears throat> but then as we thought about the whole thing, we realized a little bit different plan than we were than we were going, but it brings some of our other equipment into the equation. We'll probably actually work out better. And as far as ease goes, um, instead of having to wait a week, we're going down to get that machine right now. Stick with Dan's car, we were making it green. Now we're, uh, now we're... It's still green, but we're, we're going it, over to Avery. Then we're going to move over and make it blue. Now we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and wrap it the green. We're, Use we're the Vivid. Going. So, so just in case you want to know what's on the video, you can't know because we don't know what the hell's next. Right. So basically my whole point in this is YouTube, if you search up like 3M versus Avery versus Vivid, they all have their own material. But when you go search for videos like that, it's them taking a small piece of vinyl, laying it on the car, and telling you this material's thicker, this material's thinner. Basically what I wanna do is I wanna wrap my whole car, like the whole car, three times. One with Vivid, one with 3M, and one with Avery. The next one is gonna be Avery because I would like to wait for 3M to finally like introduce all of the other colors in their 2080 series. They're gonna be pretty similar colors regardless, but for me as a content creator, people wanna see the new, more updated stuff. So once they finally release the 2080 colors that I personally like, it would just make for better content because not as many people have done that. But yeah, man, we're on our way to Boston for the second time in a row. Uh, picking a winner. <laughs> Dig it. <laughs> so, Mark, this is the new machine, boys. And, uh, ultimately, you do. That is pretty cool. The point where that's it. I've been doing this for like a minute. Yeah. Me and Mark are gonna play a game right now. Who can spot the first bump? Sounds fun, right? If the camera falls, it counts as a bump. <laughs> hey! 
I said bumps. 